Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a salary slip in ERP Next. Now salary slip is a document which is issued to an employee at the end of the month basically depending upon the payroll frequency. So it contains the description of the employee's salary component and the total payable amount is calculated in the salary slip depending upon the salary structure that has been assigned to an employee. Now in order to create salary slip, for what you need to do is first you need to make sure that you have created a salary components and those salary components need to be included in a salary structure. After that a salary structure assignment is to be done to an employee and then what you need to do is you need to create a salary slip based on the salary structure assignment. So let's go and we will see how to create salary slip now. Now right now I'm in the payroll module so over here I'll go to a salary structure and let's consider this one salary structure general components this is the one that we this is the particular salary structure that we have created in our previous video so I'll be using the same and you can see that I have this two components over here and I have this provident fund so let's say I will do salary structure assignment now for an employee Rachel okay and let's select the date so one one January and I'll select the income tax lab also and I'll specify the base amount now the reason why I'm specifying this base amount is because in salary structure there is one component which is dependent on this particular amount because of the formula that I have specified there that's why so I will submit this now and the salary structure assignment is now created so now what you need to do is you need to create a salary slip so in order to do that you can go into the employee and you can select the salary slip over here and that will be created now you can see that the salary structure will be automatically fetched yeah over here you can see so let's consider I will calculate I want to create a salary slip for the previous month that is April so from 1 April to 30 April you can see that the salary has been calculated also there are there are absent days 5 and leave without pay is 1 and we can see that payment days is 24 and also pre-tax and income tax this is actually coming from the income tax lab that we have seen before now let me show you this one so you can see that working days is 30 so in order to make sure that the um, salary is calculated based on the payroll settings basically based on how many days an employee was present and if there was any leave that was categorized into leave without pay so you need to make sure of that so what we need to do is we need to do a payroll settings over here I have done this settings so you need to enable this calculate payroll working days based on the attendance and also the unmarked attendance I have considered as a present for example if the attendance is not marked that would be considered as a present so like let's say there was a Sunday is a day which is like a holiday so that would be considered as a present or basically included in, in the holiday list and over here I have ticked this one that is include holidays in total number of working days and also let me show you the attendance of this uh, particular employee employee 18 mm. let me select from here only so here you can see that uh, it is a attendance for the month of April and this employee is present on absent for this five days like one two three four five and on leave is one and since this leave classified into the leave without pay that's why it is included over here if it wasn't leave without pay then the working days were payment days would have been for 25 okay so I hope you got this one now what I'll do is I'll save it and let's submit it now So now we have created a salary slip so this salary slip will actually be emailed to this particular employee depending upon the settings that you have done in the HR settings so if you don't want the if you don't want the salary slip to be emailed to an employee you can do so and uh, so yeah this was about the salary slip based on the sa this salary structure that was the uh, general component and this one was the deduction component now we have one more salary structured so let's let's do for that one also 
So this one is the flexible benefits plus general components. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll do a salary structure assignment for another employee. Let's do it for Richard and from date 1st of January income tax lab let's include this one the one that we have created recently and let's specify the base pay as 4 lakh and let's save it and I'll submit cool now next what I, I'll do is I'll go and I'll create a salary slip so so then we can understand it better like what's happening here let's consider st for the month of in April since we have the attendance for that so let's go and first validate the attendance so this is employee 19 so I'll go and select employee 19 so you can see that for employee 19 there are two days absent so based on that here absent days are two and there wasn't any leave without pay so for 28 payment days uh, for payment days is 28 over here so based on that the salary is calculated over here now in hand amount let me let me show you the actual in hand amount mm, the actual amount is 25,000 so just 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 to make sure like how it is working out you can see that it's 25,000 over here but because of the uh, because this payment is based on the payment days it is calculated according to this like the two days has been deducted okay now next we have is health benefits so I will go into this health benefits over here and I want to show you something so in health benefits you can see that I have selected is flexible benefit and this is the maximum flexible benefit amount that is 10,000 so what happens is when you include this flexible uh, salary component in the salary structure um, it is divided by 12 like the amount was 10,000 right so 10,000 is divided by 12 and it is distributed each month equally so based on that I have I'm getting this this particular amount for the health benefit now this was the example of the salary structure based on flexible benefits and this we have also created this in the last video so I hope everything is clear over here I'll just save it and I'll submit it also remember that this particular components that is pre-tax and income tax this is coming from an income tax lab so don't get confused in that and let's submit it so that's it it is done salary slip has been created and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or if you have any query you can mention them in the comment and we will reach out to you. Thank you.